and welcome to the next episode of Random Ramblings. I am your uh, co-host, Gob, and this is my co-host, Gob. Hey, what up, Gob? It's me, Gob. <laughs> that, that reference won't be uh, funny to anyone else. <laughs> make the show, so whatever. Yeah, we're, we're on a server called Gob, and we have a, a text channel called Gob. Be sure they're doing the holy crap Lois uh, server. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, okay, so the idea, what we're doing today is uh, doing a bunch of random, like, would you rather questions that we're going to find online, because, you know, the whole show is random ramblings, and let's randomly ramble about random stuff. So, um, that's the plan. Yeah, and we're going to do, uh, what's the, is it a subreddit, a would you rather subreddit? But, wait, I literally didn't, I just figured there's going to be one somewhere online. I oh, just the first um uh, let's would you rather i think there's a website i think there's a website uh would you rather online let me search for that scicat ether io ether io there we go all right um hmm. should i share my screen so that you can see the questions uh i mean if, as long as you read out the question it's not really like a big deal mm, okay i will read them out since this is supposed to be audio friendly yeah um all right well some of these might be kind of duds you know like boring questions but yeah. uh, would you rather be rosa parks or be harriet tubman um eh, okay. <laughs> that's a, skip that yeah that's a that's a very I mean, boring I mean, one <laughs> to be honest like i know rosa parks a lot better than i know here henrietta or whatever, so. All right. Well, this one might be interesting because you can think of the the repercussions. Would you rather yeah. save Abraham Lincoln or save JFK? Ooh, yeah. You only get one. Ooh, that's rough. Um. So, like, the thing with uh, what I'm thinking is, uh, I feel like Abraham Lincoln is kind of at the end. Like, it was after, <clears throat> like, the war had finished, right? Yeah. So, like. He, the big thing that he was going to do, he already did. Yep. Whereas JFK is like a lot more of a question mark. Yeah. Um, so. And I actually have a practical kind of spoilery um, uh, Spoiler. example <laughs> for JFK. <laughs> um, uh, I, I shouldn't talk about spoilers. Well, hmm. What spoilers? For real life events? Or uh, like... <laughs> no, no. It's, it, um, uh, have you seen the show Umbrella Academy? Oh no, I haven't. Okay, well, okay. well, okay. Well, how about this? We'll put. I'll put a timestamp on the. <laughs> we'll, we'll say spoiler here, and then I'll, I'll put one at the end. That says no spoiler or spoiler gone. Right? All right. Um, so season season. I think season two of um, of uh, uh what should call it? Of uh, Umbrella Academy, they they go back in time to like the nineteen sixties, and it's like very. Uh, very soon in the future uh, JFK is going to be assassinated and right. this this guy one of the the main characters that went back in time he he decides that he's going to save JFK and um and by saving JFK he basically starts World War 3 because um JFK was like uh in in uh this huge conflict with Russia at the time uh, you know, during the Cold War, and uh, and uh, apparently in this timeline, like one of the other main characters was trying to prevent that first main character from um, uh, saving JFK because of the repercussions. And by trying to stop him, they inadvertently set off a, a an explosion, and um, JFK and JFK was it was like an explosion that prevented uh, the assassination, but. Uh, in doing so, JFK thought that the Russians were involved in the explosion, and so he oh, launched okay. missiles on on Russia and started a nuclear war. So, awesome. I don't know. I, I I don't know much about the policies of JFK and especially his foreign policy, but yeah. um, that 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 is an interesting uh, thought. What if what if by saving JFK you you actually ensure nuclear winter? Um, right. But but yeah, it's an interesting show. Well, yeah, I mean that's the thing I think with the oh yeah, spoiler done by the way. Um, 
I mean, that is basically the thing with JFK, right? It's like he's the wild card. Yep. Um. So the question is, do you go with the wild card? No. Uh, uh, I, one. I, hmm. I mean, if it, it was like a normal president, it'd be one thing. But yeah, I mean, it, we're, you have to consider like a whole like USSR like angle. <laughs> like that. So yeah. I, I, th- I think uh, uh, not killing Abraham Lincoln. Uh, sorry. So if Abraham Lincoln didn't die, your argument is that it would be much less consequential because he's already done all his major policy stuff, right? Yeah. I mean, I mean, obviously there would have been he could enact changes uh in terms of like uh um you know like how slavery ended um right like might have ended somewhat differently like i don't want to say like hugely differently i just mean like maybe like when to transition for the northern states um type of deal um you know and like stuff like that right and like maybe like oh you know there's obviously a growing hatred of this president that still exists you know, how would they use like i, I guess hmm, do we consider do, does the assassination attempt still take place but it fails or does it just not take place at all depends on where you intervene if you uh if you find what is it john wilkes booth before before he has a chance um to to even get to the theater then you know i i'm not sure hmm. there's a lot of leeway with that yeah there's you know, de- there's definitely some like the fact that there was an, if people know that there was a failed assassination attempt, that would still get into the history books because there's rec- records of other failed assassinations. Uh, yeah. right. Well, that's what I mean, right? Like there'd be still like, because hmm. like if there's no assassination attempt at all, eventually I feel like it's just going to lead to another assassination attempt on the at least Abraham Lincoln's end because obviously like he's a bit of a spearhead when it comes to the whole uh, slavery thing. Yeah, I feel like that's going to come to head regardless, even if it wasn't John Wilkes Booth specifically. Um, um, whereas oh, with JFK, like uh, another consequence, JFK, another consequence of uh, uh, saving uh, Abraham Lincoln would be that National Treasure Two would not make sense. <laughs> fair. Mm, all right, you know what? Fine, we're saving JFK. Sorry, um, I gotta, I gotta go for National Treasure. <laughs> and and then I have another argument for why we should save JFK instead. Uh, because of the butterfly effect, um, the butterfly effect is more pronounced the the farther back in time you change something, and right. so uh, saving Abraham Lincoln could be, you know, more devastating to our current timeline. So a lot of things might have changed. Um, something interesting about saving JFK, he's he's the one that uh, that really pushed for us to get to the moon. I wonder if he was around longer, if he would have gotten us to the point where we have mature space programs and like deep space exploration faster so i wonder if saving him would have put us in a timeline in 2021 where we've already got a moon base and a mars base and we're mining asteroids that would be interesting yeah i wonder so we're agreed on jfk um okay so if you save jfk he does get eaten by zombies later as confirmed by uh (laughs) (laughs) no um i don't know you know like i just feel like i feel like with the whole like russia like nuclear war ussr thing like i feel like there's way too much at play there yeah that kind of you know i don't know it's rough like, there's yeah. one little difference there. You know what I mean? Like, and we have missiles sending off at each other. Okay, would you rather save JFK or Hitler? Ooh. <laughs> no, I'm, uh, just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. Um, now, when you say save Hitler, do you mean, like, stop him from shooting himself? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'd be kind of cool to, like, see him run prison, you know what I mean? Oh, God. Like you'd be tortured and shit. Oh man. <laughs> oh, 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 you mean like, uh, like, well, no. By by save, I also mean like get him to a safe location. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, no, no. I'm not and and that. just to make it clear, I'm not endorsing Hitler. I'm just making a <laughs> shitty joke. Don't uh, stand Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Hitler is canceled. Yeah. Hitler is over party. Uh, Hitler is. All right. Next question. Would you rather 
be a graphic designer. <laughs> tweet that real quick. Going. <laughs> you said delete that. <laughs> no, I'm gonna tweet it real quick. Oh, the, uh, <laughs> hashtag Hitler is over party. <laughs> Would you rather be a graphic designer or be an architect? That's kind of a boring one. Yeah, not a fan. I actually I have the website pulled up. Uh, or this well, so here here's one that the very first one that popped up for me. Okay. Uh, would you rather get caught cheating or catch your partner cheating? Um, hmm. Um, honestly, I would probably want to catch my partner cheating because then, because if I, if I get caught, hmm, if I get caught cheating, it's my reputation that's tarnished. Right. And like, you know, if, if I catch someone cheating, then, you know, obviously that will do some damage to my ego and mental health, but at least right. my, my, my reputation is still intact. But, on, but at, at this point in my life, um, I, I've started dating again and I'm leaning towards being poly. So not nice. specifically for that reason, but mostly yeah. for mental health reasons. Um, yeah, so I would rather catch someone cheating. You? Yeah. Um, well, that's t yeah, I guess I'd rather because at, at the very least I'd be like, yeah, it's not you know that's you. It's all on you. You fuck. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, that'd be a bit rough. <laughs> I noticed. Yeah. I just uh, Sonic replied to my uh, huh. my because I'm doing iCarly, so like I always do like when I do a new theme, I do like an update tweet. Mm -hmm the pin and he he his request was do the gob theme next <laughs> <laughs> um, tweeting theme songs do the yeah, gob right. theme next <laughs> actually there's you all gob we're all gob yeah all right um anyway so yeah there's that one all right let's uh i guess move on to the next all right uh <laughs> would you rather have stinky feet or have long fingernails that's uh that's, um, uh, it's all right. I mean, think, I guess feet because the fingernails would be like I can get used to the smell at least, and I can like mask the smell with other stuff. Yep. But, like, the fingernails would just be really inconvenient. And we're talking like super long, right? Like the the, the Guinness Book of World Records contenders. Well, not that long. I assume at the very least they mean like long enough to where it's like very obvious. Yeah. And like, imagine like trying to grab things, trying to eat. Like, you know, it's just it's just gonna be a giant pain. Yeah. We're talking about like manicured long nails, right? Yeah, at the very least, if not longer. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I. Yeah, I don't enjoy having stinky feet, so I have a I have a, a hygiene routine for that. Um, long fingernails, like like long manicured, like like um like uh. Hmm. I. I, w I would enjoy doing that just for for fun uh and you know uh like i'm I'm not opposed to like uh someone putting makeup on me and just just trying it out for fun so yeah. like i would do that I, I wouldn't do it long term because you know my my parents would just call me gay and th that would hurt Wait, is this a new question you're talking about? <laughs> no, this is the have stinky feet or have longer finger long fingernails. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to make sure. Um, yeah, I would I would go for the long fingernails. Yeah. I'd I'd go with the feet, I guess. Okay. It's whatever. Um so I'm not I'm not saying we should like I'm not gonna answer this question, but like I was that's why I was laughing earlier, is cause uh it's quite, some of these questions are just fucking weird. Like this one this guy wrote. If your mom was about to die, would you rather marry an unattractive 64-year-old and drink a cat's pee every morning for breakfast in order to save her? Oh her die? It's like, okay. It's a bit much. <laughs> what? Would you rather like, do 10 horrible things or let her die? Like, um, 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 I, I wasn't going to answer that one. I was just... Yeah, uh, yeah that's, that's a tough one. I don't know if I want to answer that one. <laughs> Uh, here's here's could be an interesting one. Okay. Um, would you rather save the world but nobody knows, or save the world but die as a hero in the process? So you know, do you care about fame at the cost of death, or like, 
you do something good and nobody knows. Um, if it's one of those situations where I'm the only one that can save the world, yeah. um, but I don't get recognition for it, I would probably do it. But that's on the condition that I'm, I, I don't know. Like, it's hard to imagine a scenario where I'm the one responsible for saving the world. But if that hypothetically happened, I, I think I would do it. Well, you, um, uh, you see Kim Jong-un walking down the street with, with a, a with nuclear a bomb. Yeah, exactly. Briefcase labeled all nukes. Ha ha ha. <laughs> He's carrying an entire ICBM. And the only way to to get him is to tackle him and beat you. <laughs> um, yeah, I I do like recognition though. So if mm, if I could get recognition, I would prefer it. But if if it came down to if I don't do something and sacrifice myself, then the world ends and every all seven billion people die. Then I would I would do it. So I'm leaning for the first one, leaning to to the first one. Yeah, but I would, I would definitely say the world behind island. No one yeah. knows. Mainly because, like, fuck you, I don't want to die. <laughs> like, in any scenario. Uh, uh, so, anyway. Um, yeah, dying would suck. <laughs> yeah, not a fan. I'm not a fan of dying. Uh, uh, okay, would you rather be a wizard or be a vampire? Ooh. Wizard, because a vampire just feels like there's a lot more uh, stipulations with it. Like, a vampire's cooler. Like, it's like, oh, I can't go out in the daytime. And so... Why try to kill me? Uh, when you when you think of a wizard, do you consider a wizard to have the power to become immortal? Not, I mean, not, like, inherently. No, I guess that's not off the table. Yeah. But I, I'm more so consider someone like, and I've never even seen Lord of the Rings movies, but I would consider someone like Gandalf or something. Like someone that just has magic. Is Gandalf the white uh, immortal? Like when he came back? Like I said, I've never seen the movies. Oh. So. <laughs> um, the, 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 the great thing about being a vampire is the immortality. He, um, ooh, fuck, that's a good point. Um, um and okay, well, we know Gandalf uh, the white is not immortal because he died in the ultimate showdown of Ultimate Destiny. Yeah. Or no, wait, did, no, they kicked Chork Nars. Well, that was ass. Gandalf the Grey. Like he he died and then came back. It's Gandalf the Grey, Gandalf the White, Monty Python, and the Holy Grail's Black Knight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think in the twenty first century, a vampire could have a pretty good quality of life, stay indoors, have an internet business or job or whatever. Actually, I'm, cha I'm changing my a vampire i completely forgot they're immortal like i just uh... yeah um and like i really like true blood vampires i love that show the true blood vampire is my favorite um because they're like they have their they have like you know their humanity they have desires and they have um romantic interests and and uh you know Whereas in other vampire lore, you know, they're pretty much a monster and feral and stuff like that. But I, I, maybe they were feral monster, uh, feral vampires in, in True Blood. I don't remember. But I would love to be a, a, a True Blood vampire. All right. Maybe even um, a Twilight one. <laughs> no. <never laughs> um. I'm trying to think there's like a show i used to watch called grim i don't know if you ever watched that on nbc uh I, it rings a bell maybe it's, grim. it's just a police detective like episode or show and uh with the grim fairy tales in it grim no, with two m's like a specifically um i think i think I'm that bad. i think i considered watching it at some point but never got around to it it's all right um i feel like the world is a lot better I feel I feel like they don't live up to the potential as much with it, especially near the end. It kind of feels like it starts. I don't know, maybe because they're like, maybe they started running out of like, hey, we're not allowed to like renew this anymore, so they just kind of rushed it or something. I don't know. Yeah, but uh, the world was really interesting, and I liked some of the characters. So yeah, you could in in um in Oblivion and I think Skyrim as well. You could technically get around in daytime as a vampire, uh, if you had like 
healing potions or food or something or healing spells. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't remember if like mana ran out or anything. It was definitely not ideal being outside. Yeah, I never had the. Because uh... that's what? That was Dawn Guard or whatever? For Skyrim? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't have that. I have it now because I have the PS4 version. I haven't played it. I need to play it. Mm, yeah, Dawn Guard was good. Good weapons and stuff. And your your vampire lord form is really powerful. Um, I, what, fucking, I always play as a uh, like a stealth archer thief like every time I play. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh yeah, stealth in, in those games is really great. <laughs> um it's a classic would you rather. I, I, I enjoyed uh backstab. Like sneak up on someone and backstab. Oh right, right, right. I yeah. could backstab a dragon in, in like one hit at, at a certain point. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do was uh, the like. There's the giant, like the the giants, right? Mm -hmm. You know, they get all pissed and they rush at you. But then if you go in like a in, like a little bit of water, like they fuck off. Mm -hmm. Even if it's like just oh. like I don't know, high water or whatever. Yeah. You go in a river and then they just leave. So like you should, you like let them come up. You shoot them with a few arrows or whatever. Then you go in the water and then they run off and then just do it <laughs> repeat it a few times. I had no like, idea. That's funny. Uh, I like yeah, the I, think... I, I like the glitch whenever the ver game first came out where if they hit you with their club you go flying into the air like a thousand yeah, feet. Yeah, yeah. The game like starts breaking because you're not supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> you're not supposed to be up there. Um Yeah. You have another one? Yeah, I mean this is just this is the most classic one ever. Uh, would you rather burn to death or drown? Um, I think drown. I think it would be quicker. It would still be painful. Yeah, I, I guess. Um, Just swallow a bunch of water and and get it over with. I don't know. I, yeah, I guess being boiled alive would be a bit more like, you know, like our well, you'd be like burned, like hurt more yeah does your brain i guess if you're drowning does your brain just like say fuck it eventually um is you, you, like is it like is there a brain process for like drowning that's different from i'm not sure i, I think you just suffocate I, i'm not sure like asphyxia well you know what i mean like where you slowly fade out yeah, it seems like it'd be more peaceful than like uh from what from what i hear descriptions of drowning it doesn't sound peaceful that's for sure yeah well i mean not not like during the process but like during like near the end of it hmm. i don't know i'd have to look into that more but yeah i don't know i guess drowning just because like if it like either way it's gonna hurt but i guess if it only hurts your throat or whatever uh like depending on the the, the temperature of the fire Maybe I would go for fire. Like if you get like launched into the sun, I, I'm pretty sure you would die instantly. Yeah. But if it's like someone I mean, throws gasoline like... on you and sets you on fire, that would take a while. Yeah, I feel like that's. I feel like it's that type. Because otherwise, it would just be like, would you evaporate? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I would. Yeah. You... I would. I it, it, burn, getting, getting burned alive. I would prefer like jumping in lava or something. Talking. <laughs> Dude, have you seen? The video of like lava, throwing stuff yeah. in it and it explodes. I mean, just like actual, just regular lava. Like there was like a dude I saw. He had like his shoe, and mm -hmm. he would like he was stepping on the lava, and it was like, it was weird. Like it was like a uh, gooey lava. I had to find it. Yeah, well, it's molten. It's molten rock, right? I would expect it to be viscous. Um. um... Okay, here, let me see if I can mute this tab real quick. So I... Join us in our upcoming vlog episode where we step in lava. Yeah, exactly. Here, I'll, I'll send it to you in the, in the uh, DM. Just the way it looks is like, it, it's weird. Anyone at home is wondering, it, the, the, the video is called 
what you can learn from a quick step in, on lava. Hmm. It's like it's weird. Just the texture of it's really weird, and then he steps in it, and then like it like bounces back. It's like ah, ooh, that's cool. That's yeah. cool. I wonder what the uh, the mechanism is for it to bounce back like that. Um, yeah, I wonder. Because um, like heat expands, right? So like it's probably it's like a what like a rocky layer on top, and then like the the heat of the fire is just like making it puff up like a balloon. Maybe there's yeah. air trapped inside, and the air is expanding. You notice, like, when he steps, like, eventually he steps on it to the point where, like, fire starts coming out. Like, right near the end there, like, fire actually comes out of the thing. Yeah. And then, uh, he huh. backs off. Interesting. Um, yeah. would Close you rather, there. would you rather be, oh, oh, did you answer that one? Uh, which one you would rather do? What? Oh, yeah, um, I, I don't know, I guess drown. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think I think so too. Uh would you rather be sent into space without enough oxygen or be thrown naked into a pit of deadly scorpions? Oh god, it's awful. You can <laughs> you can survive awful. for up to a minute without oxygen in space. And ideally you want to empty your lungs before you go out into space without a suit. Because otherwise your lungs will instantly uh, uh, collapse and, and, and that'll kill you. I mean, if you, or, okay, so or like, explode rather, I, I think, yeah, explode because there's no pressure. So it would, it would expand. Hmm. Okay. So is the idea is it would you rather just like either scenario or would you rather like die about when the scenario is, because it seems like, uh, there's no the implication is, that you die. I mean, well, the, the one with the out in space is going to kill you. <laughs> well, assuming they don't like put you back in the airlock after a while, I don't know. I, I assume they wouldn't. Um, kind of a bit weird to be like, um, like I just prank, bro. <laughs> I, I, like, I feel like the scorpions at the very least. You have a much better chance of like surviving. Yeah. So after sixty seconds, you would basically lose consciousness in space. So I, yeah. it would definitely hurt because your your blood would start boiling. Uh, uh, you'd start bleeding from your eyes and stuff like that. So it would definitely be uncomfortable, but I think overall maybe less painful than all that venom. Eh. Yeah, but like, I don't know. okay, so like you get hit by, I assume, multiple scorpions. Yeah. Well, I, was it? It's a pit? Like, so you fall into it. So you, yeah, I guess you're guaranteed to get hit, right? Like, be, you're not gonna be thrown naked into a pit of deadly scorpions. So that tells me that yeah, you're gonna have to die on either one, because like, you don't get thrown to a pit of scorpions and like not get stung at least once. Yeah, and and it's a pit, so you're not getting out, and the person, right. you know, that threw you in is just standing there, so they'll shoot you if you try to get out or something. Um. Yeah. So. Mm. Oh, God. Both awful. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Like it's like I, I get on a. It, if I die in space, at least do I get like? Do I get more like fame from it? Ah. <laughs> uh, he ended up in space and he he fucking died. Uh, maybe. I mean, you would be notable right now because only like, twelve people have died in space so far, or something like that. So it would be notable. Yeah. All right. I guess I'd take that because at least people would like know who I am. Yeah. Wait, I mean, I'm going to die either way. I guess might as well take the. <laughs> With your last breath, you could say, like, check out my Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Follow holy crap, Lois. <laughs> God be with you. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Dying in space sounds poetic. I wouldn't mind dying in a in a spaceship explosion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm still like searching through these other would you rather than the, the one about your mother and the cat pee like huh. pop up here. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, would you rather be starving for the rest of your life or be obese for the rest of your life? Obese. 
Huh. So obese doesn't mean like. But yeah, I guess obese is more than overweight, but like. Well, obese is that, you know, like more. Well, I'm technically considered obese, and I'm, I'm not, I'm not that, like I'm not right. that overweight. Right, like obese doesn't mean like 600 pounds. Obese could just be like. 30 slightly... BMI. Yeah. Um. Yeah. 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 With that, because I don't know, like, because he didn't just say hungry; he said starving. Like, starving is completely different. You could technically be obese and live to like you know sixty or seventy or something. Uh, yeah, I mean, probably more than to be honest. Yeah, eighty. Um. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. As long as you're not doing like other stuff, like smoking and like heavy drinking and stuff, you should be fine. Yeah, because you know that's obviously going to cut down a bunch too. Because average lifespan is like seventy nine, eighty for people, but that's because like I mean, you know. A lot of people are obese. A lot of people smoke and drink. A lot of people like get into accidents. And and by the time that we're um, dying age, uh, they could probably just easily three D print a heart or lungs or whatever and replace it, and then we keep going. It's driving me wild. Um, <laughs> you were, okay. Yeah, I would be obese for the rest of my life. I've I've done it for, I've done it this this so far so. <laughs> Okay, well, this one, uh, it, this one isn't an exciting "Would You Rather," but this is this could be just an easy one for like getting to know the podcast hosts. Would you rather sleep in a room a little too warm or sleep in a room a little too cold? A little too cold. Same. Yep. I'm all about that. I have a fan on usually. Yep. Myself. Yep. Yep. I don't mind it being a little cold. It's uncomfortable, but it's fine. Nice. But being too hot, and then I start sweating, and then I feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> just uh just the way you said that <laughs> um at the very least with cold you can kind of like as long as you build up some body heat yeah could open a bear <laughs> okay <laughs> i meant like just warm up underneath the sheets but right <laughs> grab your sleep bear <laughs> <laughs> um Oh, I actually have uh, mylar sheets, which can function as a an emergency blanket because they trap heat really well. You just wrap yourself in mylar. Oh, nice. And mylar is uh, what they use to wrap the components on a satellite whenever they whenever they launch it. Or, or I think it exists even in space. Like they'll wrap the electronics in my, in mylar. Yeah. Um. Would you rather have your best friend be a girl or a guy? Uh, I I have no I have no preference, honestly. Yeah, same. Uh, because like, Cause I think, like I, I think about like I sit there and think about it, and any preference I feel like I have is more so like to the people I'm thinking about rather than just the. As long as the person shares a lot of my interests um, and we get along well and we trust each other, then I could consider them a best friend. Yeah. Um. Um. I, I don't know. I guess maybe girl just in the sense of like, cause then I don't know, like relationship wise, you can develop something with that too. So that's like an extra bonus on top of best friend. I don't. I don't know if you go from best friend to relationship often. Uh, I mean, maybe I'm not. You go from best friend to that. I'm saying, that, you know, like, you know, like if if you're in a relationship, that person's like, there's at least somewhat of chance the person's your best friend, right? Oh, uh, yeah. I yeah, I guess if if you if you're super super compatible. Uh, I haven't seen it personally yet. <laughs> I'm not saying it's like super common or anything, but you know, it's like. Um, would you rather live alone on a tropical island or live with other people in Antarctica? Ooh, um. And and, and there's a note: you would not die from disease or cold. Okay. Uh, I don't. I don't really mind being alone. I wouldn't want to be alone for like ever though. I mean, like, like I'm, I'm introverted, but I'm not like that. I'm fucking introverted. I don't need to be a hermit. <laughs> yeah, 
I'm an introvert, but I'm really, really starting to miss human people. <laughs> um, like in person. Yeah. Pandemic. But uh, I would I would love to live in Antarctica with other people because like in Antarctica, they have research stations and those I've, I've seen some videos of the research stations. They're pretty cool. I wouldn't mind yeah, doing that. It would at least be a different experience if nothing else. I guess with my skill set, I'd have to be in IT. Oh boy, I could study the psychology of, of <laughs> penguins. Yeah, penguins. <laughs> Wait, no, are penguins are they South Pole? Yeah, there's okay. there there there's penguins in Antarctica. Okay. And also in tropical locations. Yeah, well, I mean, like Galapagos penguins, but yeah, whatever. Yeah. The rock, whatever penguin. Uh, yeah, penguins are my favorite animal, actually, and I don't know much about them, but they just look so darn adorable. Would you rather walk around the mall naked or walk around school or workplace naked? Oh, um, well, mall because it's closed now. <laughs> <laughs> um, Loophole. I guess yeah. I guess school is closed too, for some people. And at the very least, with the mall, like. They're mostly strangers. Yeah. You might end up on the news. Yeah, but I mean, you're going to end up on the news if you go, like, in a school, too. And hopefully, like, if you're, if you're going to do school, hopefully you're doing, like, college school. Because <laughs> the, that's the rest of that's a huge problem, no matter what other school you do. <laughs> yep. Um, and, and the workplace better not be a daycare. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Or the school, huh? Or the school. <laughs> he, won't <go> school. <laughs> he won't be a teacher for long. All right. Um, so, I don't know. I'd choose Mall. I guess. Yeah, me too, I think. Um, what was it? I was going to ask you a question about the thing we were just talking about. I forgot what. It. Uh, was it about. School thing, but like right before it? Uh, tropical Island, Antarctica? Uh, something in between. I said something about like. Oh, animals, right. Yeah, favorite animal. Like, what would you say, say yours is? Uh, favorite animal. I guess dog. Boring answer, but those are the ones that I have the most exposure to. It's boring, but it's like, you know, there's a reason it's a stable answer. Like, it's yep. a good answer. They're very social. They have emotions, personality. I would say penguin, ah. followed by dolphin, and then, I don't know, maybe like dogs. Yeah. Just look pretty cool. Uh... <laughs> uh, would you rather eat your hands and feet or eat your whole dad? <laughs> and then, and then the note says, if you have to ask, yes, you would get help eating your own appendages. Assume your father is recently deceased. Oh, he's already dead. Well, if he's already dead, yeah, you're dead, right. dead. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, <laughs> eat your whole dad. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't really much. Like, I don't, I don't want to lose my hands and feet. I, I, I don't know. Um, if you eat the brain, then that's potentially fatal because of uh, that thing that's similar to mad cow disease. Right, right, right. I forget what it's called. But I mean, you know, if it's like he's already dead, maybe you can cook the brain really well. Yeah. Well, do you have to eat the brain? Do you have to eat the entirety? Well, it says eat your whole dad. So I'm assuming that includes like. You know, muscles, bones, organs. I don't know. Maybe not bones. I feel like, I mean, maybe it would be cheating to be like, can I do everything but the brain? Because at that point, like, I mean, the thing's asking you basically, would you like your dead dad? And like, I feel like it, whether you like cut out that one little like bit of the brain or not. Yeah. Still being your dad. So I feel like it's not fair to be like, I just do that. But like, not the part where it makes me go insane. Mm -hmm. So you'd eat your whole dad. Yeah, for sure, especially since he's already dead. Including the penis. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. It's not ideal. But... <laughs> Chop things up, cook it up, you know, eventually it's... <laughs> <laughs> um... What about you? Uh, uh, um... Yeah, I'd probably prefer cannibalism to auto cannibalism hmm. uh, <laughs> uh. 
I, sorry, I got the next uh, Would You Rather ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, ever, did you have anything else you wanted to say? No. Okay. Would you rather have comically large feet or have a comically large oversized head? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I already have a comically oversized head, so I'll just stick with that one. I think I'd go with feet. <laughs> Uh, I feel like the head would be like a lot more annoying to deal with. Yeah. Do, do I get a do I get an oversized brain to go with the head? Because then I'll choose the head. Uh, my intelligence could be. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, well, th- this is factually incorrect, uh, but. The description is, uh, the, would you rather be a the first person to walk on Mars via a one-way trip or never travel to space? And then the note says, going to Mars means never returning to Earth, but being remembered as the first man to walk on Mars. And I disagree with that because Starship is going to be able to fly back. Hmm. Um, yeah, no, that, that question kind of sounds boring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, you got another one? Let's take a look. Oh, would you rather never read another book or never hear another song? Never read another book. There's so many other ways in which you can like tell stories. Yeah, that, like, you know what I mean. And and I guess uh, articles and podcasts and blogs and stuff like right. that probably Hell- don't count song tells the story you know what i mean like yeah yeah i could do without books if i had audio uh if i had podcasts <laughs> <laughs> oh okay that makes more sense okay so would you rather be stoned to death or be grounded no i just assumed they meant like be grounded as in like be punished go to your room <laughs> like, this is stupid but then they have a description that says grounded buried in the ground up to your neck and tortured what <laughs> <laughs> um uh, yeah, I don't really care about that one too much. But... Yeah. Here's here's a classic one. A, a little bit of a spin on it though. It's a be deaf or be blind, but be deaf and have no legs or be blind and have no arms. <laughs> be deaf and have no legs or be blind and have no arms? I feel like I would mm. I feel like deaf, deaf and no legs cuz at least you can like you can have replacement for leg stuff. Yeah, and you can yeah you can get prosthetic legs or you can wear use a wheelchair. Yeah. Um, or is that, you can do you can start doing the same for arms as well, but like you wouldn't be able to read braille and you wouldn't be able to use a cane. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of a lot more use in arms, especially because it's like it's like double hit there. You're blind and now you can't feel around for things. Yeah, it's already bad enough that you're blind. I wonder if you could read yeah. braille with your nose. And over to the front, touch your toes. Oh. Um, oh. I know the song said nose, and then as I was singing it, I realized it said toes. I was like, uh, that joke doesn't even work. Um, I mean, as long as you could feel the bumps and like have a thing where you could, if you can feel the entirety of the bump, then I guess the sets of bumps or whatever it is. Would you rather live in a homeless shelter with internet access or live in an amazing home isolated from any outside contact? Um, okay, so is the idea that I can leave the house and have contact uh, with people? I don't see any specification about that. Because if it's just like I can't do it while I'm at home, it, it's annoying, but like, I don't know, like, um, the nicer house would be nice. You'd be a luxurious hermit. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, that doesn't mean I can't really online game me. Why don't you be kind of a bitch? But... Oh yeah, yeah. You could. You could. Uh, I wonder if you could take a computer with you or a hard drive with you with a bunch of offline games. Yeah. Well, well I assume you can just like you know have games and stuff. And uh, like television and radio don't count as internet access, so. Oh, but no, um, isolated from any outside contact. Never mind. Well, contact is like a two-way thing. It's That's not true. Contact, That's true. You know, I mean, if there's no uh, certification. That's true. I wonder if that would mean that you could also have read-only internet. Or, or, or server requests 
um, considered contact. <laughs> I, I think they would be, yeah. I guess if you're asking for the, I don't know, but then it's like how, uh, I guess you could say the same thing about like TVs and stuff. Like you're requesting a channel. That's true. But, but I think with like old TVs, it's basically they're being broadcast on certain frequencies and you tune in and you just receive the data. Uh, uh, At the very least, video games would be fine because you're buying the video game somewhere else. Like you're not buying it from home, presumably. Yeah. yeah. So, well, actually, well, you can't buy it from. Oh, home. you mean like you buy know? discs? Yeah, yeah. Like you know, like you have your, you know, PlayStation or Xbox or whatever there. Yeah. And you buy it, and you come home, and you play it. Like, yeah. You could go somewhere else and download like a digest of the internet. Right. Uh, would you rather eat your favorite food for the rest of your life or eat whatever you want but never gain weight? Uh, well, eat whatever you want, but never. Well, okay, so yeah, I guess never gain weight. It doesn't mean you can't like have calories and stuff. It just means like uh, you would never increase weight from where you're currently at. Yeah, I I feel like uh. I feel like um, eat whatever you want also includes your favorite food. So yeah. I, <laughs> I feel like right. this is kind of a broken question. Probably. Yeah, how long have we been going, by the way? Because my, uh, my audio recording, uh, like it's a recording, but like the timer on it's busted. Uh, 46 minutes. Okay. Yes, it's like three seconds on mine. So I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, we've been going for three seconds. Yeah. Um. That one popped up again. Would you rather get shot or get stabbed? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I feel like shot would be better. It just goes in, goes out. As opposed to stab, where it's like, not only are you getting punctured, and it's more like personal, up close. But then they could twist the knife. Um, or they could, like, as they pull it out, it, like, messes up your organs. Because the way the, depending on how the blade is. So assuming neither of neither one is fatal, which would you prefer then? Uh, shot still, like just pull it in, pull it out. Okay. Uh, eh, mm, I don't know. Okay, so. And I guess it also depends on what kind of ammunition. Nine right, millimeter well, versus you know, shotgun or whatever. As long as I can like, blows up both hole or you know like hold pressure on like where it like the where it enters and leaves like i'd much rather two shot i feel like you would still have internal bleeding then uh, i don't know well i mean yeah but you're gonna, you're gonna have internal bleeding when you get stabbed too <laughs> oh that is true true <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's the whole point <laughs> um yeah i mean stab would be easier like you hold pressure on the one spot. So. Uh, would you rather be married to someone that doesn't love you or be married to someone that you don't love? Ugh. That's rough. <laughs> uh, what about you? Uh, either way, you're going to be miserable. Um... Hmm. Okay. Well, it's like I I know the question doesn't like say it, but it's like you think to yourself like, do they okay? Do they know that you don't love them? Because I feel like as long as they don't know, like I, like it'd be like okay, like we're married, like I don't really love you, so like I don't know if you want to be in a relationship with someone else, like on the side or whatever, you can do that, like almost like a almost like a tax scheme. Be <laughs> married. Be married until oh, oh oh I see what you mean like uh. Be married for the for the tax benefits, and then maybe have an open relationship or something. Yeah, like yeah, pretty open relationship. That's exactly what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would I mean, be you know, down for that. Be cool with that. I don't uh, assume that's probably not what the question is asking, but whatever. If you if you want to be more specific, you need to be more specific. Yeah. You fool. Uh, would you rather be smart and always be ignored, or be dumb or but always listen to? Be smart and always be ignored. That's what happens yeah. anyway. <laughs> My tortured soul. No, no. no one ever understands me. 
Uh, uh, you never have to do one of the two. Would you rather never tie your shoes again or never untangle headphone wires again? I would never. I'd. I'd rather never have to untangle headphone wires again. Holy shit! I like. I like um shoes without the without the um the strings or whatever you call them shoe strings. Uh, yeah. So I, I would do that. Slip ons. Yeah. yeah, I would you do, do slip ons. So like, but the headphone wire thing is like because I listen to music a lot, so it's like it's just a giant pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, I either have I I have wireless headphones and I've got uh. You know, like a a cord that's goes straight from the computer to to my desk and it doesn't get tangled. So I don't know. I I don't need that in my life. Um. Yeah, you know, I used to have, I, I I mean, I still have them. I just don't use them. Uh, wireless, like, were their earbuds? Um, like, no wire hanging off them at all. It was a, called Earin. And uh, they weren't great. Like, the, uh, like, the pairing on them sucked. And, like, I couldn't keep them in my ear. Like, it was literally just, like, the uh, circular, like, earpiece you put in your ear. I don't know, they've made uh, they've made like improvements, I guess, since they're already on their third version of the thing. Would, so maybe I'll never make another time. Hmm. Would you rather not brush your teeth for a month or not shower for a month? Um, not shower for a month. I feel like the not brush your teeth for a month. Like I don't, I'm not great on brushing my teeth like consistently, but uh, it's gonna do a lot worse for your health. Yeah, month of missing it than than shower would. I, I yeah I, I brush at least once a day. Um, uh, I feel like if you stay away from certain foods like sugars, then you would probably be okay not brushing for a month. But I, I could be wrong about that. Um, I me mean, yeah, I suppose. But I was just normal wear tear at eating too, right? Whereas like. Because you say things with showering, it's like you're not like going anywhere doing anything. Yeah, you're still gonna stink, but but there's no like lasting damage. Right. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I would go with no shower for a month. Uh, you know, anything past like two days, and and I'm pretty miserable already. So it it'll, it won't be fun. That's for sure. Oh, cool! You've never not showered for a week. No. Or maybe, maybe when I was like a, you know, neck beard in in college. Oh well, I guess I'm a neck beard out of college. <laughs> a few years ago, I would have been neck beard in college. I don't know. There's like one time where, like a week I didn't. I was just again. Like, Actually, one thing with showering, and I that I fucking hate. I'm fine with showering, but then when my hair gets like too long, it starts like, you know, like the uh, washing hair. Yep. And when I'm done and get out and like it's drip like it drips off the back of my hair like onto my back like I can't stand that. <laughs> it's like you know you, you take a towel and you you, know, you uh, try to dry your hair you just dry it and dry it and dry it and then you miss that one little one little water bit. It's like oh god. If you died, would you rather have your brain transplanted into a robot or have your brain transplanted into the opposite sex? Hmm. Um. I guess, I guess the robot, right? Because the robot has more of a uh, like a lifespan on it. Yeah. Well, this question implies that they have the technology to just put you in another human body. So that sounds yeah, it sounds pretty good. It's like uh, altered carbon on Netflix. Um. Yeah. I mean, if you just keep doing it over and over again, then yeah, yeah. I guess I'd at least one at least one go go for the. Uh, Opposite sex. Yeah, I wouldn't mind be a being a whammon. Whammon. Mind being a female. My ovaries. <laughs> or something. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Huh. Um. God. That that this hurts to read. Would you rather have all your finger fingernails and toenails removed quickly, or deep paper cuts on the webbings between each finger and toe slowly? 
uh, I would hurts me. I would take the pe- paper cut, so I feel like that would he- heal sooner. God. Uh, I'd take the, uh, the fingernails and toenails. Like, it, remove quickly doesn't this? I don't know. You could you could find ways to remove it where it doesn't hurt. Yeah, but then it takes a while to grow back. Yeah, but I mean, mm-hmm. how much do you like? What do they do? Like, what if like what do fingernails and toenails do? Besides, like obviously they provide like a barrier support for like fingers on the backside, but like, what are they? I have no idea. Humans without fingernails would be weird, but. I don't like, know cause... what purpose they so they they serve. Oh, I, you know I, what? I, scratching, scratching, and like, uh, oh yeah, yeah, scratching yeah. and maybe grabbing stuff. Yeah, but you can find stuff to scratch. You can find other ways around it. Yeah. But uh, like, and I, uh, when I had an ingrown toenail once, I had uh, like, what was it like two thirds of my toenail removed? Oh. Uh-huh. And like, I mean, yeah, it, did, it took a while to grow back, but like, I don't, like it's weird, but like it's not. Hmm. It, it didn't really seem like it was a big difference. You okay. Know what I mean? Okay. Would Would you rather live forever or until the end of the universe, or die right now with no afterlife? Well, live forever. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Um, as much. Yeah, how much time do we got? Because maybe we can get into the immort. Maybe we'll just stop there and get into the immortality discussion. Uh, sure. Well, yeah, we can do that. We, we we're at uh. 56 minutes and i've got like 27 minutes before my next obligation all right we'll get okay so we'll stop here or we'll uh continue from this one and then like not do any more questions yeah the immortality thing so like um especially with the way that question was it said there was no afterlife so like we don't even have to necessarily we don't have to consider that option because obviously that's the other option it's like oh you know what if there's a uh, life after death kind yeah. of deal? But for this, since they obviously discluded it, it's like, why would you not? Like, I, I get the idea. It's like, you out, like, oh, you outlive everyone you ever loved. Like, personally, that, that argument's never really, like, I never really cared about that one too much. Yeah. You could always forge new relationships, right? Yep. Like, and, and even as you're, like, living now, it's like people, like, like your parents, your grandparents, and so uncle, you know, people, like, die anyway. Yeah, yeah, good point. Kind of like hard for the course, like you can't. But uh, on pets and stuff, like that one, that are because that's usually one of the arguments people would say in response to that. Uh, another one would be like, you know, like you would I don't know go mad at the end of the universe, I guess. Yeah. But uh, I mean, I, I guess I would take that over nothing because the idea is just like. Especially with this question, where there's no afterlife, it's just nothing. No, I would take something or nothing. And we're really close to uh, being able to simulate people after they die. So, mm-hmm. like, I, I feel like if if you have that kind of technology and you never you never truly lose anyone because you can perfectly simulate them, and it feels like they're real. Have you seen uh, the, re- the recent advertisement by Mountain Dew? Uh, no. Bob Ross. They did a Bob Ross uh, advertisement where it's like him painting a, a Mountain Dew can. Yep. It's it's actually pretty. Uh, I don't know if you could like watch it now or whatever, but it's actually pretty good. Um, I thought was yeah, it a deep fake? I, I think so. Yeah. I mean, I think they took someone else. Like, or... oh, they comped in the the Mountain Dew thing. Oh no, he's actually picking up a Mountain Dew and drinking it. I like from the thing yeah it's like yeah that's a deep fake <laughs> oh it's heavily downvoted yeah well probably because like disrespectful yeah because it's like you know he's like a really chill dude obviously right so it's like you kind of just use him after he died to be like drink Mountain Dew everyone like I don't know that, just, that doesn't seem like that seems out of spirit yeah Although that, that apparently that they were like donating stuff for like an art foundation or something. Yeah. From what I heard, like uh, with the Bob Ross, like whatever foundation. Oh, huh. Well, this is in partnership with the Bob Ross company. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's his estate that's involved in this, I guess. Right. 
like with with that like i don't know like if it's if it's leading to other people being able to pursue their passion in terms of art like i don't i guess i don't mind it too much if i die um i, w- I wouldn't mind people bringing me back with a deep fake yeah personally yeah I, I wouldn't really either well to be fair like once i'm dead i really don't care what anyone does yeah there, i guess there'd be a point to where like okay i guess if i had a choice i'd prefer like this over that type of deal yeah like if i can't like feel or think anything anymore and then it's like who cares yeah take take my wallet i guess if you want whatever like eat food mm-hmm. do drugs whatever i don't give a fuck yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah there's that um i guess also with the idea too of like for the for the immortality thing like we don't 100 percent know that the universe is just gonna like you know that there's gonna be a heat death and that's it or like we don't even know that we're necessarily this is the only universe you know what i mean well i mean the fact that they said the end of the universe i feel like that means i, I think oh, like they specifically oh, mean oh. the heat death so the question actually says the end of the universe. Yeah, live forever or until the end of the... Oh, I see, I see. Never mind. Live forever or until the end of the universe. So that, that does imply that there's an option for you to surpass it. Oh, yeah, because the person obviously writing it doesn't know like what the outcome is. It's like, hey, live as long as you know, like you're able to possibly live. Yep. Um, yeah, I don't know. I would love to live forever, forever, regardless. Yeah, I mean, I would too. I mean, that's not the either way, but like, I don't. You know, I mean, the heat death isn't like guaranteed or anything. But even if it was, it's like I don't know. Um, Just the idea, the idea of like losing consciousness, like not like in the sense of like oh you like pass out or something, but like in the sense that you lose like the one because that's what makes us us. Yeah. Our, you know, it's like how we act in our brain and stuff. Yeah, well, like, um, things like eh, I'm, not, I'm not cool with it. Yeah, black holes will last for trillions and trillions of years, and you can siphon off energy from black holes theoretically, and yeah. support probably not support biological life, but probably you you could you could probably support non biological life, like a you know like a, a digital representation of a person. You just you would just have a really low clock speed because of the low energy output of the black hole. Yeah, I was trying to think like I felt like we had this conversation before, so I was trying to make sure we didn't do it on an episode. But I think what happened is we're talking about uh, uh, buzzes because Buzz talked about this on his uh, Wary podcast. Uh, Go check that. Out. Um, the uh, listeners, if you haven't already. And go like the Moo Cake episode. Let's get that ratio <laughs> fixed. Yeah, boy. There you go. Sorry, I had to go do something real quick. Oh, yeah. um, what was I saying? Yeah, so like I, I think because we were talking about it like off whatever, and then I was like, no, let's save this for... <laughs> we, were getting, we were starting to get really into the discussion. I was like, this is good. You know, this will be good content. Um, I don't. It would be. Uh, it is weird to think about that, you know, like because Frank can only comprehend so much about like what that would really mean of like you know, millions of you know like hundreds of thousands of millions of years or whatever though. I feel like at that point, like you'd almost have enough time to like figure out how to escape heat death. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, even if it's not like, like, okay, how can I maybe, like, find a way to expand the universe or find a way to create more life on planets, you know? Like, I'm now I've learned every language, now I've, you know, like, you can absorb knowledge, like, so much. Because assuming, this assumes you're probably, that you're not going to keep, like, aging to the point of, like, being super frail, because that would suck. Yep. Uh- if you reach, like, you know, like ancient crypt man level of aging that that would blow. Huh. Um. Well, I mean, you could just upload your consciousness or something, uh, replace yourself with machines. Um. 
I think maybe maybe one way if if we ever figure out time travel, maybe that's a way to escape heat death. Just keep going back in time over and over. Take your knowledge and technology with you and just keep improving or keep keep doing stuff. I don't know. Yeah, that'd be weird. In kind of like constant time loop. Well, well um Blaming. Well, assuming it's the the kind of time travel where you create a a, a, a split in in like the universe and you're uh, in an alternate universe, so you don't you don't cause any causal issues or paradoxes. Okay. Uh, have you ever read the last question? No. The last question uh, addresses trying to escape the heat death, uh, and. Basically, they have a computer trying to figure out how to escape heat death, and uh, it finally figures it out at the very end. And and uh, it basically it uh, it just ends up creating another Big Bang, and then the whole universe starts over, and and that cycle just repeats infinitely. That sounds uh, kind of similar to what uh, uh, Futurama did with one of its episodes. Ah. Uh. Have you seen that episode? Uh, I probably have, but I, it was a long time ago. Uh, it was one of the. Uh, it's not the. I don't think it's the last one. It's one of like the, like ones after like the they came back. Yep. And uh, Fry and Ender and uh, Arnsworth get like stuck in a machine or something. Okay. Ends up sending it forward in time, so they keep going forward, forward, forward in time. Because there's no way to go back. Yep. Like they're trying to like hit a certain point to where it's like advanced enough to where they could find a way to get back, but they, they never were like were able to. Ah. Uh. They keep going, and then they're like, "Screw it!" Like we have nowhere to go. Like they kept going forward, and uh, like at the end of the universe, so they watch the end of the universe, and it restarts. Oh, uh, okay. Again, so then they end up like back to where they were, but I guess. <laughs> Wait, it restarts the same universe with all the same uh, yeah, like yeah, outcomes. Yeah. That's yeah, cool. And, but I guess the Earth is like ten feet below them technically so mm-hmm. like they they spawn like when it, when they stop they spawn like above the uh the other like fry bender and farnsworth they land on them and kill them <laughs> <laughs> and then they just replace them <laughs> like yeah that's cool yeah that's that's interesting um you've heard of the restaurant at the end of the universe it's from uh hitchhiker's guide lore no i've never read that book But yeah, um, you wanna you wanna end it there? I have a little that way. I have oh, a little bit great. of downtime before the next one. You know what's great? Instead of it being three seconds, now it's four seconds. Oh, nice. I don't know why it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully, it recorded because it like as I'm talking and as you were talking, like the the audio like uh the volume thing going left and right like, yeah is moving the way that like we're talking is moving. So I think it's recording still. But... Okay. Maybe you're out of space. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, um, thanks for listening, everyone, and catch us on the next episode. And also hit that subscribe. Check out the sure. main series. Forget to like and comment, too. Maybe you have questions for us for a random would you rather you can ask us. Yeah, you could ask us would you rather their questions in the comments, and we'll answer them. <laughs> or any questions, really. But uh, yep. catch you next time.